Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Even though DICE has plenty left up its sleeve for Battlefield 5, speculation is rampant on where the series will go next. Will we get a sequel to 2142? Or perhaps a full-on Battlefield Vietnam? Only time will tell, but the rumor mill is working overtime with bets on Battlefield Bad Company 3, and I'm inclined to believe it. For this video, I'll look at five serious reasons the next Battlefield game will bring back Marlow, Sweetwater, Haggard, and Sarge. You ain't got shit on no one unless I say you do. Simmer the fuck down. Your time will come. Now, I'll try not to go complete conspiracy theorist on this, but let me preface this video by saying I have no insider information on this topic, and I've heard nothing from devs about Bad Company 3. Also, some of the points I discuss are based largely on rumor and should be taken with a grain of salt. So, first up, let's talk the supposed PS5 leak. Most of the rumors surrounding Bad Company 3 are tied to the supposed launch titles of the PlayStation 5. And late last year, information was posted on Pastebin claiming the PS5 would be powered by next-gen Ryzen processors and Navi graphics, plus 24 gigabytes of GDDR6. The link also hinted the console would drop in 2020 with a $499 price tag. Recent announcements from Sony have revealed much of this leaked information to be correct, which has some pretty big implications for another part of that leak. The Pastebin files also reveal several unannounced games for the upcoming platform. The most relevant to this video is, of course, Battlefield Bad Company 3. With the PS5 hardware leak appearing legitimate, it naturally lends legitimacy to the idea that Bad Company 3 is actually in development. In all likelihood, if the game is being produced, it's in the hands of DICE LA. The studio hasn't shipped a standalone game since it was Danger Close in the days of the modern Medal of Honor series, but it did reportedly assist with development for both Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. DICE Stockholm just took over the Firestorm Battle Royale mode and continues to work on content for Battlefield 5, so that pretty much leaves DICE LA, unless EA taps another studio under its umbrella. Indeed, a quick check of job listings for DICE LA reveals some telling information. The studio is on the hunt for a lead environmental artist to partner with design team to support encounters, narrative elements, and objectives, plus add a strong sense of scene composition. These descriptions could just be generic job requirements, but it certainly sounds like DICE LA is at work on something with a heavy narrative focus, and Battlefield DLC does not fit that description. The previous two entries in the Bad Company series, however, are perhaps the most narrative-focused games in the entire franchise, highlighting the challenges facing a squad of misfits who perpetually get screwed over. I think my retirement just got postponed. That's what just happened. Again. Special. This discussion on narrative leads me to my second point, and he's actually a person, David Goldfarb. Goldfarb was writer and lead designer of Battlefield Bad Company 2, and he's been busy. In addition to opening a studio and developing a crazy game called Darkborn, he's found time to tweet a few things, including the actual beginning of Bad Company 3, or at least what it would look like if he wrote it. And it's golden. The tweets reveal Haggard's been working a dead-end job in Minnesota with a pet parrot named Miss July, who repeats anything he says for comedic effect. However, the tweets also reveal the return of Bad Company 1's villain, the Legionnaire. I'm not going to read the script word for word here, but you can pause or rewind the video to take a closer look. Interestingly, you won't be able to find these tweets on Goldfarb's Twitter anymore. They've been deleted. Now, before we get too excited, as near as I can tell, Goldfarb's account automatically deletes tweets past a certain date, but their deletion does raise some eyebrows. Goldfarb allegedly started writing the story after inspiration struck him in the shower, but who's to say that's actually the case? Perhaps it was a sneaky preview, or perhaps EA jumped on Goldfarb's desire to pen the next installment in the series and brought him on board in some capacity. And this brings me to my third point. Not only does David Goldfarb apparently have a desire to write Bad Company 3, it wouldn't really be that difficult to get him involved. Goldfarb formed the Outsider Studio with other Battlefield devs, so he has some freedom, and it's unlikely he's contractually prevented from working with another developer. 
The Outsider Studio is also located in Stockholm, the same city as the main DICE offices. And while this isn't DICE LA, Goldfarb undoubtedly still has connections at DICE, which would make writing and producing a sequel easier. Back in February, he was at the studio holding meetings as part of an industry get-together. It's quite possible the topic of one of these meetings was Bad Company 3, but again, that is speculation. They'd be in quite a rush to finish things in time for a 2020 release. The fourth reason we're likely to see Bad Company 3 is the game setting. I was honestly surprised to see DICE follow up a historical shooter with another historical shooter albeit one in a different conflict. Other YouTubers like Levelcap theorize this decision was made to clear Bad Company 3 for the PS5 launch window as indicated by the recent leak. Whether or not this is true remains mere speculation, but it is a compelling theory. Regardless, I think Battlefield's player base is largely bored with historical shooters and desires a return to the modern era which brought the franchise into the spotlight with Battlefield 3 and 4. And as much as I like historical shooters, the market is saturated and it'd be a foolish decision to continue the trend. The modern and alternate reality setting of the Bad Company series opens up some great opportunities for developers to include some compelling weapons and vehicles. For example, many players would love to see proper helicopters again, and there are some cool cutting-edge weapons in development I would love to get my hands on in-game. DICE don't have to stick to existing locations or battles either, which means they can explore unique locations and situations. The last time we checked in on the boys from Bad Company, Russia was invading through Alaska and Canada, so there's tons of potential there to produce something unique that stands out against competitors. Whoa. That was fucking magic, Sarge. You got my back for real. You don't die on my last mission. And the last reason we're likely to see Bad Company 3 soon is Battlefield's ongoing identity crisis. Like it or not, Battlefield 5 took the series in several new directions, and many would argue too many. Devs tried to create a more structured, realistic experience in Battlefield 5, focusing on player movements, vehicle animations, gunplay, and complex systems like attrition. And while it can be argued that these developments added depth to the experience, the question needs to be asked if that's what Battlefield players actually want. I've had quite a few discussions with other YouTubers and fans, and many long for a return to the days of Rendezooks and Jeep stuff. For better or worse, Battlefield 5 feels more shoebox than sandbox, so perhaps DICE needs to try an approach that's less Rainbow Six Siege and more Just Cause. The chippy attitude embodied by the Bad Company series could be just the directional change the franchise needs, getting back to the more stupid and over-the-top things that made Battlefield fun. Now you see these cheap Russian RPGs? They're easy, man! If it's like a javelin, I have to do something can you just get us to the fucking LZ before I have to do something real tricky too? Part of Bad Company's swagger comes from its single-player campaign. Abandoning the fractured war story narratives of Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1 in favor of a single well-constructed epic might also do the series some good. Past Bad Company games were rare examples of acclaimed single-player stories in the series. And again, if they want to do it right in Bad Company 3, they need to get Goldfarb if they haven't already. Whoa, now this is interesting. So, overall, there's a lot going for the Bad Company 3 rumors, the PS5 leak, David Goldfarb's potential involvement, and other industry pressures like market saturation for historical video games and the community's desire to get back to what made Battlefield great. I'm curious to know what you think or what your predictions for the next Battlefield game are, so make sure to tell me down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell for the latest Battlefield updates and follow on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for the latest news. And as always, thanks for watching.